My name is Alex. I'm an engineering technologist here at uh, CASC, and I did the programming and the electrical design for the Nano ACS. The way the market's going, people are trying to package in uh, a number of different types of can styles. On the Nano ACS, we could do all different can sizes, sleek, slims, and standard cans, ranging at different heights and ranging at different body sizes. The Nano ACS is actually the smallest fully automated system that we provide, and we've pulled all the, the best features from our automated systems into this small footprint. The biggest task was how can we make it automated in the sense of moving cans from in feet to out feet. And it almost has to be a Swiss army knife. It has to do anything and everything. If you look at past systems, it was very manual, and we've achieved a, a product where you can step away and it, it, it does the job for you. The things that make this uh, system fully automated is the addition of a conveyor. So now you, you feed in cans on, on the one end and a fully uh, canned product comes out on the other end. So we have two fill positions. That uh, makes it really easy to operate and keep track of your fills. Um, we also introduced a universal lid slide, uh, so you don't actually have to change the lid slide when you do a can changeover. One of the cornerstones of cask fill technology is just the repeatability of it. And what that means for a lot of small breweries is like just being able to put a consistent product out time and time and time again. I mean, no matter how you fill a can of beer, you're going to have foam on the top. But cask creates the foam cap first. And that's the most important part because it acts like a plunger and pushes out the oxygen and any other gases, shielding the liquid beer from oxygen. And that's what produces the superior quality. So the benefit of, of shrinking everything down to such a small footprint is that we can fit almost anywhere in, in almost any brewery. Uh, and we can give them that capacity to, to really uh, pu uh, push out cans and get their product out to the market. With the Nano ACS, uh, one of the markets that we really want to uh, try and help out is distilleries uh, that are getting into the canned cocktail world. Uh, one of the biggest challenges that they're having is being able to package these high carbonated products. Anything up to 3.2 uh, volumes of carbonation can be done on that machine. So seltzers, RTDs, you know, we have customers doing kombucha, we have beer, obviously, coffee, pretty much anything you can think of can be canned on it. The cocktail market is, is expanded very rapidly in the last few years, which means there's consumers that are interested in trying these things. We have three different bars in Calgary that have their own unique canned cocktail. And when you're making it for a single bar, you can't make it at a volume that a large scale producer can do. So having a smaller unit where you're doing smaller volumes is really important for us to experiment and try new things. With the add-on accessories that Cask offers, you can actually run it with two operators relatively easily. The size of the machine and the simplicity of it, virtual training is gonna be no issue. It's gonna be a two-day training session and we're gonna be able to get quite deep in it simply because the machine is so simple and easy to use just the way that it's been designed. It makes it so you don't have to hold a huge amount of inventory. So like if you're doing a canning run, you're you have to produce 100 hectoliters at a time and you're only selling that once every six months versus you're canning 10 hectoliters at a time and you, that's maybe a month of product. Uh, bringing canning internally, maybe we're canning more frequently, but we can can these small volumes that allows us to be so much more flexible when a product is ready. 85% of breweries uh, in North America are producing less than 1,500 barrels a year. Uh, so that's a lot of people that are small batch, uh, they're small business, and, and they're small space. The size of it makes it pretty mobile, so if we have to move it out of a way of something else, we can move it away and, and it works pretty well. It's definitely a system where you don't need a bunch of extras, you don't need a, a twist rinse or a depal or any of that stuff. It's always nice to have. I feel like there's lots of different configurations to make whatever situation we are we're working with at the time work. Every inch on a brewery floor really needs to be uh, optimized and utilized uh, every second of every day. <laughs> um, so we, we built the system to be able to fit in that small footprint uh, and then be run by uh, you know, regular people, regular people that are working at, uh, at the brewery. You don't need a mechanical engineering degree. You don't have to be a technician or a mechanic to run these things. Uh, you, know, you could be a, a front of house server. Uh, you, know, you could be one of the distillers, one of the brewers. You know, we can teach you and train you on the system and we can, we can give you guys the tools that, uh, that you'll need to run you know, a simple system like the Nano ACS uh, and ultimately just get it into more people's hands.